Vidal Riley has just advanced to 5 and 0 in a 6 round fight against Wolvie Forrest Shahipo who is 25 and 13 and and, and has a pr pretty decent experience throughout and we're kind of just be going to be going through the uh, entire fight round by round. So to start with the first round Vidal Riley looked really sharp uh, early on when he was fresh. The highlight of that round was an amazing slip back with a right uppercut that managed to drop his opponent. And he looked he looked very fast, sharp, and managed to transfer throughout the whole round, which was he looked impressive. He's still very raw for sure. It was definitely a, a good comeback performance against a, a, a decent fighter with decent experience. Yeah, and especially because a lot of people view him as like this YouTube fighter, but he's actually a real fighter. He had amazing amateur pedigree, and and he looked slick in there. His movements were really efficient, especially for someone his size. He was moving really well, and uh, yeah, he just he has great talents. You could see that automatically in the first round, even though he's not fighting the the best op op opposition. I mean, he's five and zero, so his opposition he fought was actually pretty good for someone who's five and zero. A lot of guys. Uh, will fight people who are just like just starting out. This guy actually had 40 fights and was at least a veteran in the game, even though he didn't have the best record. So, I mean, it's 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 just a it's just a tune-up fight for him, and he's gonna probably continue facing guys that aren't really the the highest echelon of fighters. But he, uh, eventually, he's gonna build up those ranks and he's gonna get there. And uh, yeah, as you're saying, the first round it was it was great. He was he was just moving around, finding his range, finding his distance, and he was able to time him with a nice shot. And then the second round. He he was he was looking more aggressive and really trying to, to up the volume, get Shahipo out of there, and he just had like nice movements and was very elusive. He was looking for the uh, right punch to try to land. He was definitely loading up on a lot of his shots, especially with the left hook. Didn't manage to uh, find it, but it was definitely just good work throughout that enti entire fight, pretty much. And he's been off a couple of years layoff, but I think definitely for a com a comeback fight and his first fight in the UK. It was definitely a good performance, and he showed that he definitely has a lot of talent. Yeah, and that second round, he was he was picking it up, but he it looked like he was really trying to get that stoppage. Obviously, in that first round, he was able to time him, so he was trying to do that again. But Shahipo was he was there to survive. He wasn't really there to win. So Vidal kind of just cruised through all these rounds. It, it looked promising. It looked like he might be able to get the stoppage, and he just kept that up going through the rounds. Round three, he 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 just he he kept going. He had a great jab, and it was a very stiff jab, getting it out there, kind of just establishing his range, establishing his distance, and you really saw. That this guy has boxing uh, skill. He's not just a guy who's who's a YouTuber or is a boxing trainer. He's actually good. He's he's a prospect. He's only 24 years old, so he has a long way to go. And he's he's super talented and he's young, so he has a really bright future. In the fourth round, you could really see Vidal switching it up with his punches and throwing really nice combinations. You could see early on he has great work to the body. And he's not just a guy that's going to be out there headhunting. He switches it up beautifully in there and really managed to find great combinations that were very effective. Especially first going to the body and then moving up to the head. And it worked uh, really well. And he had Shahipo in a, in a lot of trouble in that round. And his cardio seemed very good because he was throwing a lot of volume. Trying to, You could really tell he was trying to get Shahipo out of there and trying to get the stoppage. But... His cardio lasted him throughout the entire fight, and for it being a six-round fight, it's it's pretty good. So you could definitely see he's, he's got strength there in his cardio, and overall, he just looked very promising. Yeah, and like you're saying, like mixing it up, that was something that he was doing tremendously. I mean, he was coming in with double jab, switching it to the triple jab, and, and his jab was really the key to, to just cruising through these rounds. He was able to easily stay behind it, easily use his straight right and mixing it up to the body. And yeah, he, his output was amazing, especially in that fifth round where he was he was going like entourage, just putting it on Chipo and yeah. really just putting flurries together and putting combinations together that would would be able to get someone out of there but Chihipo was just in there to survive he was kind of staying on the ropes a bit it didn't look like he was going to get out there so that fifth round is really where where Vidal let it all rip he just he let everything he had and I mean it it, it, it was a flawless victory pretty much and it was it was a good performance in that fifth round where he was really able to show his skills and almost get Chihipo out of there yeah, and then in the final round, you could just he was pretty much just landsliding through uh, to the win, and he was never in real trouble that entire fight. He, he, he had amazing uh, slips, very fast reflexes. Uh, for a guy his size, the way he moves is is, is amazing, honestly, and just how, how he's able to time. He, like, at some points in the fight, he wasn't able to time as well, but you could see as he was kind of growing into it, he, he was improving there, but overall, he was just... 
he, he was he looked uh, great in in his return, and it's going to be very exciting to see uh, who he fights in the future and how he performs and how he's able to improve. Yeah, he's a super promising prospect in cruiserweight, which 200 pounds. He's definitely definitely keen and someone to look uh, have have your eye on because he's 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 been he's been looking super good and he's finally made his return to boxing. So now we're going to see him in there more and hopefully he's more active.